Hey everybody, it's been quite some time since I did a video, so I want to make a video here and do some basic tutorials again. Um, so anyways, from here, what I want to do is I want to kind of talk about how do you control something living on a script from a different script here, right? So what I'm going to do first off here is I'm going to create an empty object here. And this could be a player, this could be a UI script here, this could really could be anything from here. Um, let's just name this, uh, I want to say object 1. And then what we'll do is we're going to make another object 2. All right, now I'm also gonna make two scripts here to correspond with these two game objects. So I'm gonna make a script here, I'm gonna say create, and then C-sharp script here, and let's call this um, object one script. Uh, let's just say object one, this way there's no confusion. And we'll give that a second here. Cool. And we'll make one more here, create, C-sharp script here, we're gonna say object two. All right, um, this is actually from a different video from here, so don't worry about these two elements, only worry about these two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach object one script to object one, and then I'm gonna attach object two script to object two from there. And let's go ahead and save this from here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my object one here, and let's open up the script here, and let's just give it a basic element. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the start and the update here, and we're gonna give this basically just, you know, as basic as it comes here. And let's just make it something like, um, I don't know, let's let's pretend this is a player and let's pretend they have like health. Or let's pretend they have coin to it. So we're gonna say a public, let's say int. I'm not sure why that's, okay, we're good now. Uh, public int and let's make this um, health. And let's set this equal to 100, all right? Cool. So this is living on the script, which is living on object one in our scene here. I'm gonna drag this over. And if I go to object one from here, We can see it now that we have that living on that right there, okay? Now on object two here, I'm gonna now open up this script from here. And we're gonna make a method here that changes that health from object one. So let's go ahead and get rid of the update. I'm gonna keep start here because when I start the scene here, I want that to change from here. So if I just say object one here, object one, and then I say dot health, and let's set this equal to something like 50 right now, okay? And let's go ahead and save this here. So right off the bat, we have a little bit of an error from here, and that's because object one isn't assigned. So what I'm gonna do at the very top here, just like we would have a public variable, like public in here, I'm gonna say public, I'm gonna move my cursor so you can see a little better here, public. Now I could make an object one here, and I'm gonna show you a few different ways to do this here, object one. So right now, essentially what it's doing is it's looking for a specific script here, actually I shouldn't do that here, let's call this object one. Remember, this is the type, and this is the the uh, the variable reference from here. This is the name of the variable, okay? I'm going to copy this, I'm going to paste this right here. So it's looking for a script of object one here, and that's going to update that variable living on this specific script from here, okay? I'm going to save this here. By the way, if you see that white dot, that means it's not saved. And then what I need to do is I'm going to go back to Unity here, to my inspector. And I'm going to go to object two here, and I'm going. it's looking for an object one here. I'm going to drag this in here. And it's going to find the object one script living on that game object, and then it's going to update from there. So if I hit start, and I go to object one here, now we can see that it gets updated. Now there's another way to do it that might be, eh, I'm, I'm kind of back and forth on this. Uh, it really depends on how I'm feeling and kind of what, uh, I guess you could say what I'm working on and what, excuse me, what fits better for me. What I'll also do here a lot of times, and instead of just having this specific type here, is I'll also make a game object here game object and let's call this um, object one let's spell right object there we go object one now this isn't gonna work from here because what's happened now is instead of looking for the script now it's just looking for a game object from here remember this is the type and this is the variable name so if I just try to access health on this game object it doesn't have a direct access to health I have to go through this script first here. And for a second I thought I spelled object wrong there, but I guess not. <laughs> Sorry, my eyes are playing tricks on me here. So what I need to do here is let's go back to my script here. This line of code is going to be a little bit different. So instead of just doing directly dot health here, I'm going to comment that out so you guys can still see it. But of course you could modify if you wanted to. I'm going to say object one. So again, this is a game object. So if I want to get a component on the game object, I just say get component get compone, component, and now we're going to put these in angle brackets here. So what type of component do I want to get here? I want to get an object one component. So this type of script living on this object here, and that's actually spelled wrong, object one. 
Now, after that, I need two parentheses here because it is called as a method here. And then what I want to do is I want to select the variable living on this script, which is living on that um, game object here. And then I'm going to say health. And let's change this out to be something like 25. Okay, this way we can see the difference from there. All right, so kind of work your way backwards here or work your way forward. Let's do both here. So I start at health here. Then, so I'm trying to select this variable living on this script, living on this game object here. And then make sure I'm saved, make sure everything's proper here. Save. Or if I, if you work your way back down here, not saved. <laughs> so I have a game object. So I have a type of variable called game object here. And back to there. On this game object, I have a script living on that, right? Game uh, object one script. And then on that script, I have a variable. So I'm kind of, essentially it's like a hierarchy. I'm kind of working my way down. I work my way up from there, okay? And just to prove that this does work here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. And now we can see, uh-oh, what did we do wrong there? That's right, because we changed up the type here, now it's looking, it doesn't have that reference anymore here. So we need to drag in object one, just like that there, okay? Now we can hit play. And now if you go back to object one, now we can see that the health is updated from there, okay? There is a few other ways to go about this here, but these are probably my two favorite. If you guys learned something, excuse me, if you guys learned something, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And I look forward to hearing you guys to hearing from you guys soon and making some more videos. Hope you guys have a great day.